This skill video will show you how to perform engine compartment inspection and routine preventive maintenance. This skill video assumes firefighters are performing this inspection and routine maintenance following the in-cab inspection. You should complete this skill while wearing appropriate personal protective equipment. Shut down the apparatus. Chalk the wheels if necessary. Inspect the condition of all hoses and hydraulic lines for leaking fluids. These include antifreeze, water, windshield wiper fluid, oil, fuel, transmission fluid, hydraulic fluid, power steering fluid, and or battery fluid. Determine the oil level by using the dipstick. Add oil through the fill port on the engine block if necessary. Consult the operator's manual for the proper type of oil and fill parameters. Inspect the air intake system for signs of damage or dirt buildup. Do not remove the filter for inspection. Change the air filter if the air filter restriction gauge indicates excessive resistance per the manufacturer's recommendations. Be sure to follow instructions in the operator's manual and fire department policy. Inspect the exhaust system for damage, recording any damage found on the inspection form. Test the rain cap on the exhaust system, if so equipped, ensuring that it operates freely. Check coolant levels when the engine and radiator systems are cool. Determine whether the antifreeze is at the proper level mark inside the reservoir. Remove the cap on the antifreeze fill port or look through the sight glass if one is provided. Read the coolant level correctly. Add coolant using the type approved by an apparatus manufacturer until amount reaches proper level mark per operator's manual guidelines. Check the radiator hoses, recording any leaks or undue wear in the apparatus log or on the maintenance form. Remove any debris such as leaves or trash resting against the radiator or air intake. Some engine cooling fans activate automatically without warning. Use caution when working near the fan. Inspect the cooling fan, recording any cracks or missing blades in the apparatus log or on the maintenance form. Check the windshield washer fluid level. Add windshield washer fluid if the tank is less than half full. Batteries give off explosive hydrogen gas. Ventilate the area when servicing. Wear safety goggles and acid-resistant gloves. Exploding batteries can injure or kill. If the apparatus has unsealed batteries, carefully remove the caps and check the electrolyte level. Add distilled water or water recommended by the manufacturer to cells if the electrolyte level is low. Check all battery connections. Tighten any loose connections. Clean away any corrosion around terminals with a mixture of baking soda and water poured on the connections, scrubbed with a wire brush, and rinsed with clear water. If the batteries are washed, dry the batteries to prevent parasitic current. Clean road debris, dirt, dust, and moisture from the top of the batteries to prevent any bleed of current from terminal to terminal that can result in electronics issues. Check the battery tie-downs, ensuring that the battery is held firmly in place. Check the built-in battery charger if the apparatus is so equipped, ensuring proper operation. Check the automatic transmission fluid level and condition on the dipstick and or electronic readout according to manufacturer instructions and fire department policy. Add fluid to the automatic transmission if the reading on the dipstick or readout indicates that the fluid is low. Be sure to add the proper type and amount per operator's manual. Check the manufacturer's indicator marks to determine the power steering fluid level according to manufacturer instructions and fire department policy. Report any drop in levels. Add fluid if the reading indicates that the fluid is low. Make sure to add the proper type and amount according to the operator's manual. Be careful not to overfill the reservoir because damage can occur to the system. Check the level of the brake fluid in the master brake cylinder following the procedure outlined in the operator's manual. 
Add fluid if the fluid is low. Be sure to add the proper type and amount per operator's manual. Check for leaks in the system. With the air system at normal operating pressure and the engine shut off, walk around the apparatus and listen for leaks. On air tanks not equipped with automatic drains, any accumulated condensation should be drained. If the wet tank has excessive amounts of water, the air dryer desiccant may need to be replaced and or the system needs to be serviced by an AHJ approved emergency vehicle technician. Never attempt to check the belts while the vehicle's engine is running. This could result in severe injuries or entrapment in the belt and pulleys. Check all engine compartment belts for tightness and excessive wear. These belts include water pump, air compressor, fan, alternator, etc. Check the electrical wiring in the engine compartment. Look for frayed, cracked, loose, or otherwise worn wiring. Record any wiring problems in the apparatus log or on maintenance forms. Refer any wiring problems to a mechanic for correction. Check the general condition of the steering linkage. Check for looseness and free play. Report any excessive free play. Check for missing fasteners. Store the apparatus with a minimum fuel tank level required by local SOPs. Check for any leaks. Check the fuel system filters for any indication of contamination, water or debris via the filter sight bowls. Inspect fuel tank mounting straps for security and corrosion. Document the inspection and any maintenance actions and report any deficiencies per local policy.